hungry! What's up, Jersey Jeff Eats foodies? Welcome to a Jersey Jeff Eats Second Helping Rewind. These Second Helping Rewind videos are where I show a food video from my other channel, the New York channel, that some of you older New York subscribers might have seen before, but many have not, and uh, most of the Jersey Jeff Eats subscribers haven't seen at all. All of these videos are, of course, food-related in places that I have visited in the past. If you've seen it before, hopefully it's something you might want to watch over, but if not, that's cool. There'll be lots more original content on the Jersey Jeff Eats channel every week. All I'm doing is adding content to this brand new growing food channel and hopefully you'll enjoy it again or for the first time. Today's video is all about Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville where I order a fried seafood combo. Was it any good? Stay tuned. And today we're back in Atlantic City on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. We're heading to Resorts Hotel and Casino to check out the Margaritaville restaurant. I'm sure most of you have seen a Margaritaville during your travels, if not have eaten in one. And uh, as far as the New York channel, all the places I travel to, for the most part, have a Margaritaville. There's one in Las Vegas. Obviously, there's one here in Atlantic City. There's one in New York City in Times Square. There's one in Orlando when I was down there earlier this year. Uh, the only place you're not going to find one of the places that I visit on this channel is New Orleans. You guys know I love New Orleans. Lots of videos here on the New York channel from that city. One of my favorite cities in the entire world. But New Orleans takes their food very seriously. There was a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville in New Orleans years ago. But again, they take their food seriously. It's not there anymore. Margaritaville's success is built around its branding, and as you can tell by the sign here, it's evident because shopping is number one, drinking is number two, great food is last. So come on, let's go inside and check this place out. As soon as you walk in from the boardwalk, you've got these giant sized props for some photo opportunities. It's about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon here in Atlantic City. Kind of early for dinner, kind of late for lunch. The place isn't that busy. Actually, it's not busy at all. But I'm starved, so I'm going to order something big, and I'm hoping to enjoy it. If you're familiar with the Margaritaville in Las Vegas, this one's very similar as, as far as the setup's concerned. There's a small shop right outside the restaurant here filled with Jimmy Buffett merchandise. And again, it's attached to the restaurant, which has a island theme. I was promptly seated as to be expected when the place is as empty as it is right now and handed a drink and food menu. The starters include a appetizer trio, Caribbean chicken egg rolls, fried pickles, Key West chicken quesadilla, volcano nachos, spinach and artichoke dip, and lava lava shrimp. There's a bunch of salads, no thank you, not today. Some of the entrees include a seafood combo, fish tacos, fish and chips, teriyaki chicken and shrimp, seafood mac and cheese, that sounds pretty good, crispy chicken shrimp, teriyaki chicken bowl, there's Jimmy's jam and jambalaya, no wonder they were kicked out of New Orleans, Louisiana Cajun shrimp, and some ham battered chicken tenders and barbecued ribs as well. And of course a good assortment of burgers, sides, and desserts. I decided on the seafood combo because I'm starved. It includes uh, fish and chips, coconut shrimp, and fried shrimp served with french fries, coconut ranch, jalapeno tartar, and a Thai chili sauce all for about 25 bucks. There's an extensive drink menu, but I ordered my usual unsweetened iced tea. I had some wine up in the room before I came down here and I plan on having a nice dinner later tonight with some cocktails. Later in the evening, I visited Cuba Libre in the Tropicana Hotel and Casino. That video will be coming up shortly here. Hey, pipe down everybody, I'm trying to concentrate here. Well, my $25 seafood combo came out, and I was a little disappointed in the portion size. The fish and chips looked like two fish sticks. My fried shrimp looked more like popcorn shrimp. And the coconut shrimp, well, that looked normal size, and I got three shrimp. I mean, I don't want to sound piggish or anything, but for $25, I was expecting a little bit more food, but thank goodness I have dinner reservations. 
I love coconut shrimp. I don't know about you people, but they're even more precious when you only get three. I'm gonna dip one into this Thai chili sauce and see what happens. Okay, that's actually pretty good. The shrimp is very tender, the coconut adds a lot of sweetness, and that Thai chili sauce, the combination is really good. That Thai chili sauce adds a little bit of heat to that bite. More importantly, Next up are these fried shrimp. I got six of them. They're about the size of a quarter. Unfortunately, they're a little bit more expensive than a quarter. Let's try one of these out. I'm going to dip it in. I believe this is the coconut ranch. Mm, I kind of feel sorry for them. They're kind of like the Jan Brady where the coconut shrimp would be the Marsha Brady. And if you're old enough, you know what I'm talking about. Don't get me wrong. The fried shrimp aren't really that bad besides being very tiny. They're just uh, not the coconut shrimp. The coconut ranch dipping sauce, however, is really good. And now cutting into what should be the star of the show here, the fried fish. It looks like fish sticks. Like I said, I'm hoping they're not. And as I cut into them, I see that they're not fish sticks or more or less pressed fish where these are actually fish fillets but they're not really fish fillets they're kind of like sliced up fish fillets think of it this way fish sticks are kind of like chicken McNuggets whereas fish fillets are kind of like chicken breasts and these are kind of like chicken tenders I know that's a horrible and confusing analogy but hey I don't get paid for this so that's all right I do have to say the two dipping sauces I've had so far are really, really good. I have to say these fried shrimp are basically nothing but a uh, reason to enjoy these dipping sauces. Kind of like a cracker to a really good cheese. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the Jersey Jeff Eats channel. And if you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Both really do help this new channel out. Listen to this crunch, even with the dipping sauce. The fries were actually pretty good. They were nicely seasoned, crispy on the outside, and nice and soft and tender on the inside, just the way I like them. Uh, I made my own dipping sauce for the fries, a little bit of ketchup and some of that coconut sauce. I know it sounds disgusting, but it was actually pretty good for these fries. And if you notice, I didn't touch the other sauce at all, which was, I believe, the jalapeno something or other. Lots of mayonnaise, and as you guys know, no mayonnaise or eggs for me. The bill came to about $30. It was uh, $25 for that seafood combo, which was really overpriced for what you get, as with most of the dishes here. And my unsweetened tea was about four bucks. And as always, I use my MLife MasterCard to rack up those tier points, and every point counts. So this card I use for gas, food, to pay my utility bills. I pay everything with this card, and then I just turn around and pay the card off with uh, one big check at the end of the month. And that's pretty much it for my late lunch here at the uh, Margaritaville at Resorts Hotel and Casino here in Atlantic City. The food was pretty good. It was definitely overpriced for what you get. But those Marsha Brady coconut shrimp were superior to the Jam Brady fried shrimp. The fries were good as well as the dipping sauces. The place is slowly filling in. I have to say it's usually very busy in here. Sometimes there's a line waiting to get in, uh, waiting outside. And uh, again, I'm here on a weekday. It's a fall afternoon. It's kind of like a weird time, 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. So uh, it is starting to fill in and I can guarantee you in a couple hours, this place is gonna be very busy. And sometimes they have live entertainment here as well. Okay, slowly filling in was maybe a little ambitious. Let's just say a couple more people came in since I've been here. So what'd you guys think of Margaritaville? I know most of you have seen a Margaritaville and many of you probably have been in a Margaritaville uh, considering that you watch this channel and we visit Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Orlando and all those other places. What'd you think of Margaritaville when you visited? Did you like it? Do you think it was overpriced? Do you think it's all hype? Let us know in the comments below. Meanwhile, let's take a quick run through the Margaritaville store. Hey, if you'd like to support the Jersey Jeff Eats channel and see more videos like this one in the future, click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I do appreciate your support, guys. Clicking on that thanks button will get you a shout out in an upcoming Jersey Jeff Eats video.
Marsha!